मैं हूं दिग्विजय और आज मैं बात करने जा रहा हूं इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं सबसे पहले हम लोग जानेंगे व्हाट इज एन इंफॉर्मेशन इंफॉर्मेशन इज नॉलेज दैट यू गेट अबाउट समवन और समथिंग और यू कैन से फैक्ट्स और डिटेल्स अबाउट अ सब्जेक्ट it may be in the form of data on paper or data in digital form now what is communication communication is simply the act of transferring information from one place to another this may come in the form of sharing exchange or broadcasting and the technology is the means by which we transfer or communicate this information so ICT is the convergence of information technology and communication technology basically we can divide ICT in two types the first one is traditional ICT where we use printed media like newspaper books journals and also television and radios most of these are used from ancient time and are still being used widely and the other one is modern ICT where we are using technologies like uh, computers cell phone internet and uh, GPS in this video we will mostly focus on modern ICT the main objective of ICT is to change the culture of the use of ICT and improve confidence in the use of ICT for learners, teachers, school leaders as well as parents. Also promote new behaviors for teaching and also improve the parental engagement. Now what are the applications of uh, ICT? The use of ICT in e-government, e-commerce, e-education e-health and e-environment are seen as enablers for development because they provide an efficient channel to deliver a wide range of basic services even in remote and rural areas. At present hardly anybody can do without the use of ICT. They have undoubtedly penetrated in all spheres of human life. So let's discuss about merits and demerits of ICT. Some benefits of ICT are access to remote learning resources means teachers and learners no longer have to rely on printed books and other materials for their educational needs. With the internet and the world wide web a wealth of learning materials in almost every subject can now be accessed from anywhere at any time of the day. And the other benefit is sharing of knowledge. Students can use ICT to present their work in a highly professional format. They can create documents, slide shows to demonstrate what they have learned and then share this with other students with their teachers and even via email. ICT also provides wide population cover means at a given instant of time a large number of people can access the content on the web. ICT seems to be a very good thing but there are some demerits also with this like cyber security cyber bullying and costly infrastructure the gadgets used for ICT are very expensive followings are the impact of ICT faster communication faster information sharing and paperless environment which is very easy to use and it also beneficial for our environment. Now let's discuss about ICT tools. What is ICT tools? ICT tools are digital infrastructure such as computers, laptops, desktops, data projector, software programs, printers, etc. Some input devices which are used as ICT tools are like a smart card reader, in which a smart card contains information such as account number and transaction details and also a barcode reader. A barcode is a combination of thin and thick lines which contains a number of nine digit in which the first two digit represents the country and the next five digits represents the 
name of company and the next five digits represents about the product and the last digit checks any error in the rating. Some output devices used as ICT tools are monitor. It may be of any type like CRT display, LCD display or LED display. Printers are also used as output devices. It may be an impact printer or non-impact printer. Now what is a software? A software is a collection of instructions that enable the user to interact with a computer, its hardware or perform any tasks. Without software computers would be useless. The software has been divided in two parts the system software and the application software. The system software is a type of computer program that is designed to run a computer's hardware and application programs. While application software is a program or group of programs designed for end users. Application software may simply be referred to as an application. The system software has been divided in three types. The first one is operating system that supports a computer's basic functions such as scheduling tasks and controlling peripherals. And the second one is language converting softwares like uh, compiler, interpreter and loader. And the third type is utility software. It is a type of system software used to support the computer infrastructure designed to help analyze, configure, optimize or maintain a computer.